Hi everyone, it's Vanessa. It's a new camera. I'm trying to get used to it. I still don't really know all of the functions. Am I even in focus? Who knows? So I thought that it'd be fun to follow me along as I make a vlog. I'm going to be home for the next like two weeks. I'm going to try to do as much reading as possible. I'm hoping to listen to a lot of audiobooks. I need to clean my entire house. I feel like it really needs it. So I'm going to be doing a lot of just house things. I'm literally not going anywhere for Christmas because of COVID. But hopefully that means that I get to read a lot. And I'll show you the book that I'm currently reading. I am currently literally almost done. I have like 10, 20 pages left of The Night Swim. So that's what I'm focusing on. It's mystery deals with a rape trial and it also goes back and forth between the present day and something that happened 25 years ago. I don't think this is completely like delivering everything that I wanted from it. Um, I thought it, it would become maybe one of the best mysteries that I've read all year and it really hasn't lived up to all of the expectations that I had of it but I am interested in seeing how it finishes so I'm gonna go finish it now and then I'll show you what my next read is. All right I have finished I called that last little twist in the end. I knew what was gonna happen. I would say the things that I liked the most about it was the trial aspect of it and seeing the trial progress. I definitely think a lot of things were so convenient. Like whenever we met new characters, it was because they helped the plot move along in specific ways. I also just felt a little bit underwhelmed by the ending. So I think I'm gonna rate it three stars. And we gotta say goodnight to Mr. Sam. Night. Sweet dreams. He puts himself in his crate to go to sleep. He's ready for me to lock him up. My goal is to read this next just to give myself kind of like a palette cleanser after just finishing kind of a heavier book. Although this is pretty heavy too, but I think it'll be more nostalgic and that's what I'm looking for. Um, this will be my third time reading this one summer. It's literally one of my favorite books. It's one that I read many years ago and it just stuck with me and it's not a perfect book but it's a book that was really important to me the first time that I read it and for that reason every time that I read it it reminds me of that as well and that experience and it was right when I was getting into graphic novels too. I've had it out from the library since Banned Books Week which was like two months ago at this point <laughs> so I'm gonna read it so I can return it to the library as well. Hello, it's a new day. I haven't updated since last night. This morning I've just been reading Grown by Tiffany D. Jackson. I'm halfway through now. I think I'm gonna just settle down and finish it. It's going really fast and I only think I have maybe two more hours of listening to do, so I might finish this one now. And then before I went to sleep, I showed you that I was reading this one summer and I'd say I'm maybe like one third, one fourth of the way through, so then I'll read this one after Grown. I'll catch you up after I finish those two. Good morning. Last night I finished Grown by Tiffany D. Jackson and overall I really did like it. I think I settled on three and a half stars just because of some of the decisions of like where the plot was going. Particularly I'm kind of curious what I would think about this book if there wasn't a murder that the main character is basically like trying to get herself out of but definitely a powerful story at times it was way too similar to surviving r kelly so i think parts of that also made me feel outside of the story more like i was just rehashing something that i had already consumed and then this morning i woke up and i finally finished this one summer which I started a couple days ago really great again it's not like the best graphic novel i've ever read but just like the storytelling and the nostalgic elements of the story bring me back to so many things about being a girl. There's parts where like conversations are happening in the background by both teenagers and adults that the two young girls in the story kind of walk in on and the people are basically like going on with their conversations because they don't think that the things that they are talking about are registering for these young girls and they totally are and I, I definitely recognize myself in those situations like I remember there was one time we took a trip to visit one of my dad's friends in Michigan and I was surrounded by like older girls they were like 17 18 19 and I was maybe 
12 or 13 and the things that they were talking about within my vicinity they thought that i was too young to understand but i i most definitely did understand what they were talking about that's what i mean about this book is like some some of the things that happen in it remind me of things that i have myself gone through and they call back to parts of my younger life and I think it's so beautiful when books can do that so that's why this one summer holds such a special place in my heart. The book that I just started is Notes on a Silencing by Lacey Crawford. I'm listening to it on audiobook and following along. I'm only like on chapter two. It's really good so far. Um, I feel like it's gonna it's gonna break me in the next you know 50 or so pages so I will let you know what I think as I keep going. I have not recorded an update in maybe a day or so because not that much has happened reading wise. I kind of hit a standstill where I'm like starting a bunch of books at the same time. So I'm like reading three books concurrently at the moment. One is Moonflower Murders by Anthony Horowitz. I'm almost 100 pages into this one. I'm actually really, really enjoying this one so far and the audiobook is awesome. I also started Notes on a Silencing by Lacey Crawford, but I found that this one, I have to listen to the audiobook while I'm reading to really pay attention to all of the second meanings and, and more detail that the author is going in. And then the last thing that I'm currently reading is What Made Maddie Run, and I'm listening to that one exclusively on audiobook. I don't have the physical copy. I'm really enjoying that one as well. It's really sad, but I think really well done as well. And I'm more than halfway done with that one. So hopefully I finish that one tomorrow and then I make more headway into these other two. So I finally got into the part where it's the mystery in the mystery. So I've gotten to the beginning of the book that this book is based on and I'm kind of sad that I'm out of this world and I'm put into a different world but I'm hoping that I really like the old-timey feel of that detective novel by Atticus Pun quote-unquote um, because I did really enjoy that aspect of it in Magpie Murders so let us see. have not updated in maybe a day um, and things have happened so last night I finished what made Maddie run I was really hoping to finish that one the day prior but it just took a little bit longer and it was really really good I ended up giving it four stars I listened to the last maybe two hours of the book while playing games on my phone just because I really wanted to finish it I would say that what the book does really well is showing how the stresses and expectations that we put on teenagers their first year of college can lead to really bad consequences and it's a book that I just kept reading hoping that the ending wouldn't be the ending and it was it was really devastating but I think a really well done book other than that today I've been cleaning a lot so I told myself what is going on here <laughs> I told myself starting on Monday today I would start my clean up palooza at my house so that's one of the reasons why I took off a bunch of days from work definitely to like be lazy around the house and stuff but also to clean my house maybe clean like two hours or so or three hours a day today it ended up being like two and a half hours so I ended up cleaning the shutters on my windows and the sliding glass door which I don't think I've cleaned at all since we moved into this house like fully cleaned and it was very dusty very grimy very dirty I got behind the shutters because the ones in the sliding glass door we never moved them because there's no need to have that like shut during the day or anything so we just leave them in the same spot but we didn't realize how disgusting it was behind the shutters like where the sl sliding glass door goes back and forth then the next step is going to be tomorrow finishing vacuuming the rest of the house and then starting to do some mopping um i have to clean my floors really badly so while i was doing all of that i was listening to notes on a silencing by lacey crawford i said in a previous clip that it was kind of hard to follow along just by listening to the audiobook and I did do that for a while where I was reading and I was following along with the text but today I was definitely able to just get into the audiobook and I didn't feel like I was missing parts. I will say this book I don't think it's it's for everyone. Her writing style I don't think is for everyone. I think she's very detailed and she's very 
flowery in parts. Some people might not like that. I'm almost halfway through. So my hope is to read a little bit more of this today. I didn't make any headway into Moonflower Murders, um, but I'm hoping in the next few days to finish those two books before I close out this vlog. The only other thing um, that I have to share is that I'm currently looking at furniture. So I can show you. I'm looking into this lamp because our lamp sporadically shuts off all the time. I don't understand why our floor lamp. Um, I'm also looking into this like a ladder bookcase sort of look for actually this spot right here in our bedroom um, that right now we just have like a random table that I hate and so I want to put something with a little bit more and I'll give a little bit more something to this room um, and start we can put like little pictures and things on there as well and put the humidifier up there too and then a bunch of coffee tables because ours is from Ikea and literally five years old and probably cost us like ten dollars so these are a bunch of the ones that I'm looking at and we'll see what my husband thinks about these designs so whose bed is this Sam I didn't know this was your bed hmm. hello so I finally finished the last two books. I said I was not going to come back until I finished those two books and now I finally did even though it's probably day nine of this vlog at this point in time. But anyway, um, Moonflower Murders, pretty good. I think, I think it was a little bit too bloated, a little bit too long. I kind of wish that it maybe the book in the book wasn't in there or was shorter. Still satisfying mysteries, I would say. And I just finished tonight Notes on a Silent Scene and that book. I'm a wreck now. It was painful. And I think what I kept coming back to is this idea of like why victims are quiet, don't reach out, and then have this response of like, why now? Why are you talking about this now? If you see this case and all of the things that not only the school administrators, but like the culture of her school did to silence her, shame her and silence her, it's evident why people don't talk more openly about these kinds of things. I would definitely recommend. I really, really enjoyed the writing. I think it's something that you have to get into. Not necessarily everyone's cup of tea. Some people might think it's a little bit overwritten, but I really liked it and it made me feel like I got into the brain space of her life during that time. Yeah, I just feel for her and I thought that it was a great book. I will finish it up here and um, if you've read any of these books, please let me know in the comments or if you would like to read any of them, also let me know in the comments. I will start a brand new vlog for this final week of December because I'm still going to be reading hopefully shorter books we'll see some graphic novels because I feel like I haven't really been reading I've been reading a lot of adult longer books so yeah I will catch you then bye bye